Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Are you wearing the same shirt from last week underneath your hoodie? It is. It's the same wow. shirt from last week underneath my hoodie, but this it's okay because I'm hiding it. People didn't need to know, but now they do. <laughs> I feel like it was pretty obvious. <laughs> As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy. Anything but salad. Anything but salad. Right here, right here, right here. Now it will metal energy. Anything but that. Anything but metal energy. Oh, there's not. There's a no. There's hone edge and Aegislash slash in there, uh, but they are not part of today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are Lipar, Dotler, and Screamtail. I like Dotler. Dotler reminds me of one of those like North Face tents that you yeah. can like assemble on top of Mount Everest. You are Everest. right. It looks like a glamping tent. A glamping tent. Yeah. But like, but like glamping, but also like I feel like they're the kind of tents that are specifically not glamping. That's right. That's like sure. true expedition type stuff. Dollar is one of the best stage one Pokemon, like middle evolution designs of Pokemon, I think. Middle evolution? Yeah, like the Charmeleon or the War Turtle, the Ivysaur. So Dollar comes second. Dollar comes second and then it goes into Ore Beetle and he's like a giant like floating spaceship ladybug kind of thing. Oh, why not? Yeah, yeah. that sounds cool, I guess. I do like Ore Beetle quite a bit. It's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Well, we've got the uh, the box here in fun mode. We are ready for possible sister-in-law, Sammy! Sammy! Up in here. One of these days, you're gonna have to ask her if it's her. I know, I know. But no. you know what? It's more fun to think that it could be right. her. It's better to believe that it is than know that it isn't. Right, right. I'm sure that this person, Sammy, has even like left a comment being like, "LOL, no, I'm not." But LOL. like, you know. Oh, look at this! Oh, never mind. I thought oh, Dotler was the first Pokemon, but it's oh, not even close. Wouldn't it? Yeah, not even close. A Joltik. Does a Joltik grow up to be a Jolteon? But no, it, can't it grows really. up to be a Galvantula. Yeah, that's less. You know bad. how ticks evolve into tarantulas in oh, real life. Oh, so it's supposed to be like a tick? Yeah. Oh, it's deeply unsettling. <laughs> All right, so Joltik, not to. Uh, Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, the Earthen Earth Vessel, vessel. there we go, points. two points, the Medical Energy, the Iron Bundle, the Thievul, the Aspathra will score, as will the... And he just slashes two points, There too. we go, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Five wow. points out of the gate five for... Five points for... Probably Sister-in-Law Sammy. Probably Sister-in-Law. Thank you, thank you as ever for supporting the show. It means right. a lot to us. Right? Bum -ba -dum. All right, next up, we've got Xander, the one, the only... Alexander! Alexander! Guitar, flute, piano also speaks a little Japanese and Chinese. Wow. They sound you are a truly multi talented human being slash individual. Truly. Truly. Like the hard water. The hard water. I was trying to think of what's the other brand. The. There's surely White. White Claw. White Claw. Yeah, True you, Claw. You are the. Yeah. <laughs> Perloid, bien fu, paracetal score. Hey, there's the orbital. There's the orbital. Yeah, cloth, luxury escape. Seedra, the Deoxys will score, as will the Chi Yu. So there that's going to be a three point pack. Three points overall. For slam! For Xander, well done. Keep up all of your talents. Now, man, it seems like in the last box we went through, there was like nothing, and then suddenly like the, the floodgate broke, and it was like rain and rare cards down it up in here. It did feel that way. It did feel that way. Yeah, so so let's the question see is when, when is it going to happen? Will it happen? with Heather Lynn. Heather Lynn, we're about to find out. Heather Lynn coming off a 27 point single pack season. How's your day going, Heather Lynn? <clears throat> yeah, let us know. Like truly, truly good? White Claw good? White Claw good? 
That's, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's see. So, oh, there we go. Oh, there. The, the, Pretty the, good the, now. There we go. Yeah, the tank tank Which we only got week. one of last time. I know, yeah, there it is. There it, it is, the yeah. Net, the Flittle, the Trubbish, the Defiance Vest, the Durant the Durant will score, the Technical Machine, the Roar Arc will not score, the Blip Bug will not score, and, and the, the Groot Arc. Oh, unfortunately, so just four points. Four points for, for Heather, Heather Lynn. Lynn. Even though she got the Multiplier on today and managed to get one of the, uh, the Durants. You know, I'm already impressed with how many metal cards have shown up because it hasn't seemed like they were particularly um, high, high volume. Yes, no, I completely agree with you. Yeah. yeah All right, so Ben. We'll next see. up, we have Mots. Mots, who, as ever, is one of our moderators. He is a moderator. A moderator. Yeah. Now. This season, it seems like the curse of the mods has been broken since Dola sits atop the leaderboard at 30 points. If it's, I could open it's, a pack. it's hard to harken back to a mod curse when a mod is currently in first place. It is. So let's see if mods can continue the broken curse. Panpour, Blitzel, Boon Sweep, Slack Lazar, Simiseer, Crowback, Countercatcher. Oh my gosh, mods does it! With the Professor Sada's Vitality Alt Art. That is amazing! No. Let's see, what is mods going to score? with his big pull. This is a great pull, by the way. This is a great pull. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Is it? So we have two scoring points? Yeah. This is going to be incredible. So this is going to come in at $29.64. We'll wow. round up to 30 plus one. Oh, it's 31! 31! Oh my gosh. Mots and Dola sitting atop the leaderboard. You can't make this stuff up. You can't. That is unbelievable. So Absolutely Mots unbelievable. moves into first place with Professor Sada's Vitality. Not only a great look card but also a very playable card that is amazing 31 points for the Motsinator. well done indeed wow. Wow, I wow, suspect wow. I suspect that there's a gonna be a little friendly rivalry forming now between old Doe and uh, bots there I, I expect much much trash talking in the um the secret nap pod. Yeah, there we There's go. There's no doubt. All right, next up we have got Jupiter Fox. All right, Jupiter. Jupiter Fox, who came up a 32-point season. Can you imagine Wait. if she pulls another 32-point pack here and immediately steals the lead from Mott? That would be unbelievable. It kind oh. of would be. All right, so we got the raucous pummeling energy there. We, there. Go. we got the Zubat, the Gimme Ghoul, the Purloin, which always reminds me of like, like, per pork. Tenderloin, you know, is what I get from purloin. So it's like it's not like the purring of a cat. No, I get so like you, yeah, yeah, I get like You're like I get, one of the eating cats. Right. I, yeah. like, I like to smoke some meats every now and again. So that it makes it yeah, the Gliscore, the Future Booster, the Simi Sage, the Golbat. Man, a bunch of stuff that would have been yeah last week. Uh, the Gligar will not score, which will leave us just with the, the Iron Jugulus. Just yeah. a single point on there. Despite having iron in its name, it is not a metal Pokemon. It is a normal type Pokemon, colorless. That's unbelievable. Yep, so 16 oh, cents for that one there. So yep. just a single point. Oh. Yep. There we go. Next up we've got Anna. 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 Uh, we just saw Anna a couple weeks ago at GoFest. We sure did. Yeah. We sure did indeed. Uh, this is this is of course our hilarious situation where for like months and months on end we were wondering what Anna could have done in high school that would like have been the thing that, that she was known by. Yeah. Turns out we were there for the thing. It was to us. It was to us. And we didn't realize it was that Anna. We didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. <laughs> That's our bad. That's our. We have now figured it out. Now we know what it is. The Onyx, the Wismer, and the Kingdra. So just a single point for Anna. Uh, Oh, too bad. Here. Let's see, what are some dollars and cents on the Kingdra? Let's take a peek here, see if Anna's in contention for that last place award with number 32 on the set. Overall, it's going to be worth 13 cents. Oh, wow. So, so it's not in last place, but it is low value. It is low value. And not to mention, like, in order to, like, really, really, like, execute the full, uh, the full last place award, you gotta, con you gotta, you gotta be consistent. Yes, no doubt. You're gonna have to have three one point packs. That's so. right, that's right. You know, here we go. Next up we have Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute! Yes. Is it me? It is you, it is you. Alright. Blue Malamute who had just six had six points for the last two seasons. Yeah. So it'd be great if they could break that trend right here, right now. Just jump out. Nice big pack. Plus, I'm pretty sure Blue Malamute was our original last place award winner back in the day. There's oh, the I salad think so. energy. Back in season two. That's right. So we got the Gimme Ghoul, the Wiglet, the Jirachi. That will score. Oh, that will score. Well, there it's a good catch. The Knackley, the Wug Trio, the Techno Radar, the Steeny. I keep thinking Grass I know. From last week. After the Joltik, which is now again, I can't look at it the same way ever again. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a baby Jolteon, but instead it's an actual tick. Yeah. So that's enjoyable. Uh, but will not score either way. The Semi Sage will not score. And the Zation. Or two points. 
points. So one, two, three. There, yep, there we go. There three you points go. overall. All right, so hopefully can break the six point trend for Blue Malamute there, but still plenty of time to not make it to six points as well. That's it. There you go. Next up, we've got Bubsy. 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 Team Fire. Team Fire. Now, worth noting, there's no rookies in today's field, I've been told. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Yep. Team Fire, how is the team competition shaking out? That is actually a really good question because That's I was doing the math before that. today's episode. So we currently have Team Water in first place overall with 82 points. Wow. Team Fire has 79. Then we have Team Grass with 45 and Electric with 43. Goodness. Well, that was at least the start today. Who knows? Maybe yeah. Mott is shaking it up. That's true. Yeah, it so, almost certainly has. Yeah, Bubsy there. Rock is pummeling, Apom, Mantike, Pansage, Rourke, Minyor, Simipore, Spinda, so many water cards, Vanillite, and then Latios to round Good it nice. out. Could, Latios feels like low value. It does. Number 73 on the set, is yeah. that it there? Mm -hmm. Is this 12 cents? Wow. Yeah, for the Latios. Worse than the Kingdra, so we got on a beat. That's it. Yeah, so for just Bubsy. one point for Bubsy there. It's our third one of the day. Man, we had the the first episode. It was like we could hardly get a single pointer out there. I, I guess know. there's so many grass Pokemon though. It's maybe a little easier to dodge those like mini points. That's true. Yeah, and then metal is obviously like a little bit less common overall in all yeah. the sets. That and dragon type, we don't even put it on the wheel of energy because there's like one per set. It's just Tatsugiri this time. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have Big Jake. All right, Big Jeek, we got Pharaoh Seed. Scores. Oh, yep, good save, good save. I'll get it eventually. Uh, the Gaibull, the Panpour, the Blitzel, the Norman, the Cyclozar, the Toad Scroll, the Vanillux. Oh, oh, here we go, a Crustle! A Crustle, wow, what a really cool looking card. I do there. like it. Love that. Yeah. Super fun. Uh, and then we got the Espathra. Espathra. So right. let's check out that Crustle. Yeah, 183 on the set is going to be worth. Oh man, just two dollars ninety-seven cents. I man, totally so, again. It's like one of those that has great art. So it's going to be a five-point pack overall for Big Jake. But you get this excellent crustle art. Look at that. Just hiding out there while it's raining outside. Crushing it. Crush, crustling it. Crustling it. There yeah. we go. I was like, there's something to be had there. We can we can find it. We can pun that up. We can we found it in the end. Anyway, that's all that matters. Akron guy. Akron guy. For Team Fire. Team Fire. Can we pull something big? Let's see. They created a Pokemon fan site in 1999, which led to their interest in coding and a career in IT. That's... And now they're doing a Pokemon card game online. How about that? What do you know? Really the peak of the career, if you ask me. Right, I know. This is where it's all been leading to. Fireball energy. That super valuable Porygon. I know, right? Magmi, Vanilla. There's our lone dragon card this set, yeah, Tatsugiri, who hilariously, the whole lore is that these two like work together. This lives in this is mouth. Oh, cool. That's anyway. fun. Yeah. Tulip, Remoraid, mine in, my favorite of between plus line mine in, and Thievel. Thievel, so uh, number 120 on the set. Let's take a gander at that one to see if we've got anything we can do. 13 cents. 13 cents again. Wow. Lots of single point packs coming up here. You'd think, I'm surprised Thievel. <laughs> is above 10 cents, honestly. All right, next up we've got Karen! Karen! All right, let's see, Karen, last season, only two points, so not great so far uh, in, in the last season. It's all right, Karen, we can do this. We can do this. I can already see something worth, like, noteworthy. So we got a parasol lady. Yep. Yeah, but even though it's raining, that's yeah. clearly not the right umbrella. Not when you use a parasol, guys, come on. <laughs> Highly valuable for a gun, too. The Octillery, the Golbat, the Counter Catcher. Um, I'm making sure that we haven't missed out on any of our randomly chosen common chase cards. The Absol, uh, Masquerade. Yep. The Tinkatuff will not score. The Luxurious Cape will not score. And the. The Lysopod. Just right. a single point there. During the pre-release uh, event I played in, there was uh, some Glycopods included in my deck. This was like my star card. Won me many games. There we go. So 14 cents for the Glycopod. 14 cents. And just a single point overall for Karen. That being said, it won't. it's not a very good meta card. But inside of the meta for a pre-release, it worked. There you go. There you go. Sometimes, you know, it's adjusted. Next up is Brawn. Brawn. Yep. Here we go. Master Swordsman. Master Swordsman. You know, travel around with Tyrion Lannister there. 
There we go. Let's see. We got the Fireball, Fireball. Energy, the Boom, Boom Sweet. Sweet, the Phoebus, the Apom. A lot of monkeys. The yeah, Pond Sage, uh, Slitherwing, the Explow, the Technical Machine, the Tandem Mouse will not score. The Jirachi will, will score. score. And the Evetal. Eveltal. Eveltal, of course. One of the worst named Pokemon ever. They were like, it was for Pokemon X and Y. This is the Y of the title. Wow. And it was just like, wow. it felt like they went out of their way to like start a word with a Y in the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's probably a better way than YV. Yeah, as, I know. As the, Come on, man. Right. But all the Evons of the world right now are like, hey now. Hey, hey, hey. You're, you're a rock star. Get your show on. Get paid. That's exactly what they were like. Yeah. They all, every Yvonne just broke into. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all star. I you love it. That. I love it. Now, it's always a good time for everybody in the world to simultaneously break into song. It is, especially when it's Smash Mouth. Yes. All right, next up we have Lacey. Who? Oh, the there multiplier. we go. The yeah, I love it. Kaboom! The Minin, the Snorin, Knackle Stack, Plus, ooh, the Plasal and Minin. That's fun. Zep Strike Up, Crocolore, Ambipom, Mine Fu, Tinka Tink, and Deoxys. Oh, Man, just two could points. Could not capitalize, only gets two points, Lacey. Must be, uh, I imagine if you're watching at home and you see that multiplier pop up, you're like, <gasps> Yes! And then, I know, I know. I feel like if, if I was playing, I feel like that's what I'd be looking for every time. Like, I know. I feel like I'd, I would find it more likely to get the multiplier than like a super cool rare card. Yeah. Goodness me, Ben up next, it's, a, it's another crowd favorite, it's Dominic Toretto. Goodness gracious, well I gotta say Dom, I just watched your most, well not even the most recent work, I was watching Fast and the Furious 9 on an airplane on mm. my way home from Las Vegas. That movie is not good, <laughs> like flat out. Just I'm sorry, it out Dom. There, Dom. I just wanna lay it out there, I'm not yeah. one to necessarily have strong opinions about all, all the yeah. things, but like, um, but Fast 9 was just not I know so. anything about Fast and the Furious, Dominic Toretto, is that he's totally cool with being caught out on stuff. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Definitely takes it like a champion. Just as well as Larry. Larry. <laughs> that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Mask, uh, Sir Skit, Whimsor, Ancient Booster, Orthworm will score, the Professor yeah. Turos, the Technical Machine will not score, the Apom will not score, and the Porygon hey, Z. Hey, the Porygon Z for so, two, points two points for Dom and for Fast and the Furious 9. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. exactly it. I would give it two points out of a hundred. Wow, that bad. It was really not Goodness good. Goodness me. All right, next up we've got Vicky. Who's got, we're coming off a three point season, but before that, 45. So wow, okay. The, yeah, the season before, they put up 19, 16, and then 10. So they wow. were in a real groove. They were just, yeah, like absolutely killing it yeah. there. Can they get it back? Oracorio, Swablo, Pansier, Nicket, Veluza, Chantal, Garboder, Golisopod will score, Wochian will score, Mulcanian will score. So to three? Three on three, just the back. Three cards all get some points there for Vicky. Nothing too crazy, but better than one, I suppose. Better than one, there we go. At least. Pass those along. Bam, bam. All right, here we go. Next up, we have got Maddie. Maddie! Bam. So I'm, I'm curious whether or not uh, this person is related to other patron, Tyler. Oh, okay, why is that? Oh, because they're, yes. Yeah. Because I can see their actual last name. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so yeah. let's see. So we've got the Metal Energy, oh. so we've got the two times Multiplier. Multiplier, the Mantike, the Ga Gabite, the Minin, the Dude Blade, there we score. go, the Mela, the Minior, the Dundozo, the Swablu, uh, will not score, the Horsey will not score. Oh, oh but the Armor Rouge Armor will. Armor Rouge, but we've pulled this one a few times now, we I feel. Have. Pretty sure it's just a single point. It is 96 cents, so barely missing that rounding. Uh, so that's gonna be one, two times two is four points. Yep, there you, got you go. It? Four okay. points, and then we need a sleeve for that. Yep, we'll sleeve it up for you. If nothing else, you always get the sleeve, which is always fun. A lot of armor rouges. That's like our third one so far. I know, I know. And you know, I feel like we pull a lot of these overall because I always, always, always think of uh, Underoos. Underoos. Uh, from Civil War. Yeah. Mostly the trailer from Civil War. Not even really so much from the movie, even right? though they also say in the movie. Yeah. All right, next up we have Master Lauren from the university. Or just um, Lauren. Lauren. Yeah. Another Lauren. Not that another Lauren. L-O-R-I-N Lauren. There we go. That one. The Laurens of the world get it. Lor yeah, they know. They heard me say it differently, but not everyone else has the ear for the Lauren, you know? So. This is like when you say J. It's like some people like some people might be incorrectly thinking that it's J-A-Y. Yeah. But those who can hear right. like the the like the the simplicity of the J. No, it's yeah. just simply the letter. It's the letter J. I can tell. The people call me, if they, people are thinking J-A-Y when they say my name. It's right. like, you can I, tell. Mm. You can tell the difference. Yeah, there's no doubt. All right, Dottler scores. There oh, we wait. go. Oh, you're right. Okay, random chosen. Yep. Yep. Lipard, Wimpod, Snorlax, Tinkaton, Durant. Durant. Will score. Right? Oh, you're right. Metal yeah, type. Yep. Metal. 
Rika, Feebas, and Ting Lu. So there we go. Just a mere three points there. A mere there. three for Lauren. Man, so Mott's had that 31 point pack, but otherwise, I mean, the highest we've had, like, otherwise is Big Jake's five. Wow. So we're, we're I mean, once again, you know, I feel like we're just we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're rooting something. around for something big here. We're gonna find it, don't you guys worry. Next up we have Veva. Veva. Could this be it? Veva of Cross Stitching for Fun fame. Ah, yes, of course. Yeah. This always reminds me of like Parks and Rec when you say cross stitching for fun, like when he's like a big fan of the people who make chairs. Yes. Yeah, it's like, ah, you know, some people could be famous for that. There must be the case. We got the Flamigo, which surprises me as a raucous pummeling type. I would see like anything It is else. like, yeah, it's like flying fighting, I think. Okay. Which is, yeah, it's a very fun Pokemon to have on your team in the game. It's like weirdly strong. Would you call it flighting? Yeah, flighting, exactly. Oh, I love yeah, it, great. yeah. There's that super valuable Porygon again, the Seedra, the Magby, the Mian Chao, the Rika, the Gorgeist. The, uh, oh yeah, Evelta will, Evelta score. will score, the Knackly will not, and then Melodic Man. to close off. So just the two points two there point for Vava. Once again, and we're, when we're getting we're getting further down the line, we really need, it's gotta pop soon, guys. It's, it's gonna, got there's to. There's gonna be something big. We've got Icy, probably vanilla. Probably, most likely, almost certainly. I think there's a couple of vanilla themed Pokemons now. There are, there's a, yeah, Vanillite, Vanillux, Vanillish. Yeah, those yeah. are the ones I was thinking of. Exactly. <laughs> They've actually been around since uh, Gen 5, and they are the, like the Pokemon people like to make fun of in Gen 5. They're like, they're just ice cream cones, and it's like, so? Almost cares? everything is just something. I know, right? It's like, why are, you, why are you hung up on the ice cream cone Pokemon? That's where people get stuck. <laughs> yeah, Gligar, Blipbug, Flake, Coco, nope, that was last week. Hollow Edge will score, though, type advantage, future booster. Uh, Screamtail will score. Screamtail scores, the Iron Bundle does not, the Tinka Tink does not, Crustle does not, and Altaria EX! I'm sorry, there's another Dragon type. There, there you go. go. How about that? Number 140 on the set, let's see if it's worth more than one point. Mm -hmm. Number 140, 70 cents, unfortunately. Uh, not. We are just absolutely scraping through the EXs that are not worth a dollar. All right, someone's gonna break the seal here. Is it going to be Jesse? Uh, who is coming off of a, just a four point season. So hopefully they have gone down and now they're going to skyrocket up with something wild in this pack. I mean, we've already had the Professor Sada in here, so. I know, we got the Salad Energy there. We got the Mill Tank, mm. the Wimpod, the Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Veluza, the Technical Machine, the Crocolore, the Gimme Ghoul will not score, the Octillery will not score, and the Garnacle. Just a single point. That feels like a low score. It too. does look Let's like see. a low score, the, the old Salt Pocket Pokemon. Yep. 12 cents wow. with Gar... Gar... Garnacle. Gar... Is it... Gargna Garganacle. 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 Gar... Garganacle. Yeah. Garganacle. Garganacle. Gar Reminds me of that it. movie, uh, Small Soldiers. There was the Garganites. Oh, you're right. I remember that one. Yeah. Who else remembers Small Soldiers? Man, you wanna know what that movie made me think of? Was how yeah. painful it would be to be shot with a nail gun. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like at one point in time they have a nail gun and they're just like shooting it into someone's leg and it's like, that's not okay! Oh, that that hurts. hurts so bad! Right? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. So, that's what I think of whenever I think of the movie Small Soldiers. Soldiers. The worst version of Toy Story. Gosh. Here we go. All right, we're into the pack here. Next up, we have got Stacy. Stacy. Actually, you know, I think um, oh, Secret Life of Pets is the worst version of Toy Story. If you really oh. want to get technical <laughs> about it, you might be right about that. Elegant, Dingadov, Trubbish, Crustle, Earth oh, Vessel. There we go. That's worth two. Steeny, the Blitz. Oh, oh, wow! The Garganacle! <laughs> the Garganacle! Garganacle! And a low kicks there. Wow, two back to back, but this one's obviously way cooler. It is way cooler. Oh my goodness. Two on the set. Let's see if we can do anything with that. $3.11 for the Garganacle. That's it? $3.11. So rounds so up to four, four, five, six, seven? Yes, right, yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Seven! Seven! Seven, seven. on the. There we go, Stacy. Way to be like. Seven our, for seven. I think it's our second highest score of the day. I know, wow. Just absolutely impressive. Absurd. Yeah. Mots is just like kicking back over uh, there. He's like, like, like up, 31 like, points. <laughs> no. All day. Nobody's gonna come near me. Ain't no problem, yo. All right, next up we've got Skill, rival of Kurnak McClagan. <laughs> uh, that's a great Harry Potter rivalry joke. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see oh here. my gosh, here we go. 
This is actually this is why okay because they they're a Slytherin keeper so that's oh very yeah that's funny that's the reason well. uh, yeah. there's there's the vanillaite there you go yep. the Oricoria, the Swablu the Pansir the uh, Professor Sadas Tatsugiri are one dragon well one of two dragon type the Dondozo they go together don't they yep. yeah happened last time too the the Purloin which is not yeah. pork sirloin <laughs> uh, tenderloin uh, the Charcadet will not score and the Morpeko will so Let's 121 see. there is a, the other version of this Morpeko is super cool. It is like a, it's actually it's surprisingly very colorful, and it's just this guy eating up all sorts of stuff. Let's see, 121, so 16 cents for the Morpeko. Getting a lot of people down here for the last place competition all of a sudden. I know. I feel like you know this is going to be like one of the more competitive arenas as we move set. forward. Oh, but here we go, Ben. Maybe this will break the streak. It's Emily Stock. Now apparently the mod curse has been broken, and apparently. Emily is another mod. So let's see if uh, Emily's about to pull something cool here. All right, Bo bam. We've got the raucous pummeling. Rock pummeling. Okay, okay, so not nothing there. The dwebel, the horsey, the joltic. That's a tick. Ferrothorn will score. Curse duster or beetle. Wiglet. Parasol lady and oh, Zatu. Zatu. Sadly, not. Just going just to be two, two points. points. For Emily for Stock. For Emily Stock. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That's okay. We'll package that right up for you. Send it your way. Yep. Thanks as ever, Emily, for being a mod for us. Yes. Thank you for your continued moderation of the Discord. Next we got Rab Rangoon. Here we go. Coming off a 20-point season. Pretty solid. Rab Rangoon like Crab Rangoon. That's right. go for some crab rangoons. Same here. I was literally just thinking that. I was like, man, I'm hungry all they of a sudden. They just have cheese in them, though, right? It's like, I mean, probably. I, I suspect that, like, under the proper circumstances, it's like imitation crab meat and then, mm. like, you know, cream cheese, but inside of, like, a fried, like, little, uh, yeah. what are those little, things like, called? fortune teller thing. Temple, yeah. They always remind me of. They kind of look like the, the fortune yeah. cookies, but there's something else. <laughs> anyway, um, so we got the Toad School, the Toxel, the Spinda, the Nimble, the Technical Machine, the Vanillux, the Defiance Vest, the Wimpod will not score, the Absol will not score. Oh, oh, there you go, the Mela. Look at that. There we go. That, should, that feels see like it. it could be something pretty it decent. It sure does. Number 236 it? on the set. Is yep. that right? Okay. This isn't even, there, is a, there is another illustrator art version of this. This is just going to be the full art version. Okay, there you so go. So let's $4.70. Man, so just a five dollar card there. Five dollar card, just the one scorer too, as well. But either way, still a very cool card. Very that's, cool. That's Mella. one to enjoy. It is. Well done, Rabbit and Goon. All right, next up we've got Stefan and Susie. Stefan like and Susie. It seems to me the couples have been doing well this season as well. That could be the case. Yeah, I think Jackinator and Dakinator last yeah, week. they did great. They had something. Yeah, twenty points overall. So we'll see if another couple can strike their way onto the old leaderboard. Right. True. Who's the real power couple? in this competition. Little Nick and Knackley. This is like the episode of the Knackles. Absol, Glyscore, Simisage. Oh, no critical hits at all this episode oh, either. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, the low, the low kicks, kicks will, will score. score. And oh, oh, the Tabu Gogo. I'm telling you, man, the couples. How about They're that? They're crushing number, it. Number 222 on the set. Oh, that is an awesome looking Tabu Coco as well. Let's see. Oh, but only $2.42 for that one. So three points for so the Tabu Coco. Four point pack. Man, you'd think it'd be better. You would think it would be better. That but it's a not. Bit surprising, but that's all right. That's all right. Getting cool cards, but not big points. It's like a very affordable set, is what I'm learning. Yeah, there you go. Like that's if right. You, it's like, yeah, if, if you want, you like, want a cool card, card, right? Yeah, go get it. Go get it. Yeah. All right. Next up is Raygon. Raygon. Is this on <clears throat> the name of like a Targaryen? That feels like a like a Targaryen name. I think there is a. A, there, this is like, I don't want to like do any spoilers. There is a Rhaegar. Rhaegar. Okay, Rhaegar. okay, there we go. That sounds good. <coughs> yeah, we got the yep. got the salad energy, which all of a sudden I feel like are showing up. I know. Where's now. all the metal energy? Yeah, we got the Nicket, the Glygar, the Blitbug, the Fui Coco, the Fue Coco, apologies. Fue Coco. The, so few. I think, have we missed a live part or two? I feel like maybe we have. Oh, Someone we'll have, have to go to back in. Yeah, that. yeah, there we go. All right, so the Veluza, the Chantel, the Porygon, worth a lot more than the other one at a whole one cent. The Wimpod will not. Score and the Palkia. Palkia. Wow. So again, just a single one point, point Palkia. That card Ben doesn't believe should exist. Yeah, 20 cents wow. for that one there. So 
just a single point. And again, we're going to be going into that last place award with like some serious contenders. I know, on. yeah. This is the week, man. Week three. It's because of the metal energy typing. I think that's no it. Doubt. That's it, yeah. Oh, Ben, another mod contender here. It's Dakota. Dakota! Who plays uh, video games with us once a month. I know, yeah. I feel like, I feel poor Dakota. I feel like every time we open a card for her, it's always like, oh, by the way, let us let you know way. about another tier that we have available <laughs> over on Patreon. But it is such a fun hour of gameplay each month. So if you'd <coughs> ever be interested, we'd say it's just, it's a lot of fun. Patreon.com slash Supercon Game. I don't feel that bad about it because I think Dakota's mostly signed up with that tier to actually play games and then just because she is there, happens to be playing this game. Receives cards, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. gets cards. <laughs> Eyeball energy. Let's see if Dakota could pull something bigger than Mots. That'd be amazing to really get the Mot chat, the Mod chat stirred up. The Natu, the Cloth, the Luxurious Cape, the Cyclist are the louder, the Mill Tank, oh, and okay. the More Peko. So oh, just a single gracious. point. Oh, Yeah, I'm say one. We, didn't we just pull a More Peko? We it's sure like did. I can't remember. Or something. Yeah, what number was it? 121 on the yeah. set? Let's see if we can find it again, just to be certain. Want to make sure that everybody's got their fair shot. Well, 16 cents for the more peco. 16 go. cents. There 16 we go. Cents, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, sorry, Dakota. Better luck next time. <laughs> next up, we've got Caitlin. Caitlin. Let's see. Caitlin had a one point season seven. So we're hoping for more than that for you this season. We're hoping for more than that. We've had too many yeah. one pointers this episode. I know. I know. We need it to is, boost it, is, it up, people. Not, Come on. I know. This has not been our most powerful episode from points. But let's see, so we got the electric type energy, we got the Elekid right there on top, the Vanillish, the Onyx, the Tinkatink, the Durant Durant, Durant. Scores. there we go, that's a good point, good save. The Technical Machine, the Wugtria, the Snow Run, is that a different one than no, the one we've been pulling? Yeah, it's just like Reverse Hollow. Okay, all right, yeah. if you say so. Oh, oh the, the Live Hard, look at that, and then the Iron Moth. So Boom. one, two, three points. Three points, so better than last season, three times better three so times far. Three times better, there you go. So just three points for Caitlin there. We are coming down here to the last few of the day. We have Collard Cow. 41 who listen listen here collard cow i know you can do this collard cow i know you have it in you actually i say that in season six they they were a last point person and pulled three one point packs back to back so you know what you've gotten it out of your system yeah that's true that's true i mean exactly. and honestly they had 43 cents across three packs last time yeah. Or back in season six, so <coughs> they know what they're doing. Oh, but there we Obviously, go. Obviously, they're like new different, game, different tactic, new, new game. game, new tactic. Nimble, Yamask, Spinda, Tinkatink, Norman. The Orthworm will score. Orthworm does score. Toad school. The Pharaoh Seed will score. The Haunt Edge will score. And oh, the Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Whoa! All right, look at that. The most number of metal cards we've had in a pack all day. There we go. I did look up this Mewtwo <coughs> earlier today because it always surprises me when Mewtwo's are not valued more. It's a dollar forty. Wow. So, so just two, three, four, five times two is ten. Ten points for old collar cow. There you go. So I think it's our second highest scorer of the day. I know. So you know what? Pretty good. Pretty solid. Honestly, it turns out. Seems like it's uh, harder than we thought to get up in the big numbers it for does this feel particular that way. set. But plenty of packs left to open. Don't you guys worry. Next up, we've got uh, Methy. Methy coming off an 18 point season, so they did pretty good last time. Okay. That's okay. on one pack. It's just one pack. Yeah. yeah, last season was just a one pack season. This is a three pack season that we're inside of now. So we got the teardrop there. Hone Edge will score. Hone Edge will score. We got the Dwebble, right? The yep. Horsey, the Joltik, the Garboder, the Future Booster, the Iron Bundle, the Professor Status Vitality will not score. The Toad School will not score. Oh, the Skeleton! Well, there we go. And that's actually a metal type as well. So it's going to be an extra point extra on top of whatever point. it's worth. Good save, good save. Looks like a bulky X. But... It's dollar twelve, so okay. round up to two, so three. So three, so four. So four. Th on the pack. Love, love the way that we do math. So three, so four. So three, so four. That's what I use, that's how my math papers used to look in, in high school. You know? Right, it's like, like show so your work. Three, so yeah. yeah, it's, it's like, like show your work. 12, one, so two, so three, so four, so five. Yeah, the math teacher's 12. like, maybe don't show your work. Yeah, this like, is you're talking about. This is disheartening. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like an essay about how you don't yeah. like math. Let me explain, Let me explain using explain math. Yeah, using math as my subject for why. Oh my gosh. Okay, next up we have uh, Kool-Aid Man. Oh yeah. yeah. Another another um, member of our monthly gaming sesh. Or yes, yes indeed. And also uh, big congratulations because I believe by the time this is airing, we'll be married. We'll be married. Woo! Yay. 
Hey! Congratulations well to Kool Aid done. Man. Well done, Kool Aid Man. All right, uh, Cat Tenderloin over there, Pharaoh Seed will score, Guybel, Simi Seer, Crobat, Rourke, Yamask, Norman, and Espathra. So just, just a two. Or two point pack. Two point right. pack yeah, for, for. Oh, yeah, the Kool Aid Man. For big Kool Aid. There we go. We'll enjoy. And again, congratulations on the wedding. Yes. Happy nuptials. All right, next up is Vincent. Vincent. Let's see. Do break dances. Oh, man, that is seriously something that growing up, I was like, I would like to learn how to break I think, dance. Yeah, I feel like when I was a kid, I was like, it, at some point, I will, of course, I'll know how to break uh, dance. Yeah, that's like that's, I'll get to it at some point. It's coming. And at this point, I'm like, oh, I rolled out of bed wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the, that now yeah. your head's out. Yeah. You got the flittle, the trubbish. Spin on my head? I don't think so. The gimme ghoul, the techno radar, the sneeny, the counter catcher, the vanillish will not score. Oh, oh, the oh look, and it's a loudred. It's like music. Music based Pokemon, how perfect. That is so amazing. Bring your Loudred with you and start breakdancing, man. The and the and the wow, but that just is look such a cool card. And fun. Oh man, that is just absolutely gorgeous. I so hope it is like worth the amount of coolness points it looks. What is the number on that one for it me? It is going to be 212. 212. All right, let's see what we got at number 212. We're really hitting a bunch of our, our rare cards. It's the same here. thing that happened last time. Like there's like a section of the box. I know. Yeah. So we got uh, four dollars thirty seven cents. Once <laughs> again, I feel like the value just not matching the artwork. But so five points. Oh, so five six six, six points yes. there for Vincent. <laughs> five so six. Five so six. <laughs> you know. There it is. Next up, we have Ethereal Squirrel. The most ethereal. Everyone's favorite Ethereal Squirrel. But bam. They had, wow, was it a 64 point pack? Did they did they win last season? What happened? I, don't even, I, don't I cannot think so. remember yeah, what the 64 was, but that's an impressive pull. That squirrel, that is. That was really good. All right, let's see. How are they doing this time? Fireball energy to start. Surskit, Magby, Flamigo, very valuable Porygon, Mela, Slitherwing, Gore guys. The Dotler will score, the Pumpkaboo will not, and the Groudon. So, so just, just two, two points. points for Ethereal Squirrel yeah, there. Yeah, well, but coming off of 64, you know, I know almost I mean, everything was going to be a disappointment. Probably going to have to cool down just a little bit, yeah, from that one. But yeah. well well done there for Eth Squirrel. Here we go. We have got two packs left. Next up is Jeremy. Jeremy, indeed. As ever, I can never not hear. I think it's Isla Fisher in Wedding Crashers saying, Jeremy! Oh man, it always reminds me of Mr. McSnorter in uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, so it's one of the Mickey Mouse shows on Disney Plus and the Happy Helpers are trying to help him relax and he keeps getting phone calls from his, his assistant, Laramie. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> he's like, Laramie! <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so Jeremy, a lot, your, your name evokes he, thoughts. He works at the condiment department and they're having all sorts of condiment problems. As, as is the you case know, you know. with condiments. Anyways, Ketchup's getting missed with mustard. Oh, it's a whole fiasco. <laughs> what it's like to have kids. I know. Anyway, we got the Loudred, uh, the, the Metal okay. Energy give us the Multiplier, the Remoraid, uh, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat, the Screamtail Scream score. score. There we go. Barathorn scores. There we go. The Curse <coughs> Duster, the Zekrom will? will score, the Mantike will not. Oh, and, and then the, the Brute Bonnet. bonnet. The, I feel like the, the like style of this, like with that like, ancient world, it's like, oh, that was no, well, just yeah, regular yeah, yeah. rare. Yeah, so just let's so, see here. So one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight. Points there for Jeremy. Go. For Jeremy. Of the condiment department. <laughs> Jeremy Laramie. Jeremy and Laramie. <laughs> All right, and our final player of the day is Lady Starlight. Bring us home. Give us some great last pack magic here. Let's see it. Slither Puff. Let's go. Oh, a Slither Puff. A Slither Puff. One of them. I always do think Slither and Snuffle Puff seem like they would get along super well. Yeah, so. better than you think. All right, yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. Yeah. Panpour, Blitzel, Boonsweet, Feebas, Minior, Simipore, Substrika, Guybull, Fuecoco, and oh, Aegislash. Oh, man. Just going to be a two-point pack there, one for the type, one yeah. for the rare. Yep, so probably uh, Lady don't. Starlight. Yeah, so there are so many, so many people in that last place position. I doubt we'll come to a total rare card value when somebody's already got two points. I, I guarantee know. someone can pull off three ones, right? No, it does seem like it, doesn't it? We're going to have some real competition down there. 
Well, congrats to all of our competitors today. Man, I feel like that box was a little lacking compared to the first uh, couple we had there. It does, it does feel that way, <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, we did have a change to the top that's of the true, leaderboard. That's true, that's true. Mots did take the lead. Took over that top spot. It'll be very curious to see as the rest of the season progresses. <clears throat> I feel like Mots and, and Doe now are gonna be like just straight duking it out to yeah, see yeah. who can take the top spot. I know, I know. I'm very excited to see which of them pulls it out. I know. If either of them, maybe they'll just both get destroyed by one of the rest of you, which would also be great. Yeah. We could rub it in their face as well. <laughs> yeah. Quite literally, again, we got my what I'm calling the Dalmatian card is worth 101 points out there. Uh, so there is always the possibility for one person to just pull that card and completely blow the competition away, especially Absolutely. if there's a multiplier. I mean, goodness gracious, can't you even imagine? Can't. Um, but guys, as ever, if you would like to become a Box Breakers patron and see us open a pack of cards for you in the future, as a reminder, these cards go to these people. Like, we physically will mail them to you. It's not like we're just like playing a game here, like everybody is, in fact, buying these packs. And you can do so yourself uh, over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Just select any of the box breakers tier. We'll have a link to that in the description down below. But otherwise, until next time, hurry up!